Okay. Hi everybody, I'm Allison. I'm Julia. And today we get to make a marble maze. Yay! Ooh, it's gonna be so fun. Let's see what we have in our kit. Wow, we have a lot of stuff today. Yeah. Do you know what this is? Uh-uh. It's a whiteboard. 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 <laughs> we have a dry erase marker, three pipe cleaner, six smoothie straws, some puff balls, we have some washi tape, washi tape, glue dots, and of course we have to have a marble! A marble! It wouldn't be a marble maze without a marble, right? Yeah! Oh, this is a lot of stuff! The only extra thing we need is scissors! scissors. Okay, and when you have all your stuff, we're ready to get started! Yep! Let's do it! I think we're gonna have a lot of fun today. We're gonna be focusing on engineering. Do you know what engineering means? No. It means we're gonna be building something from scratch. Like we have all these supplies and all these things, but it doesn't make anything. But we're gonna make it into something. Yay! That means we're engineers. My maze is gonna look different than your maze. Yeah. And your maze is gonna look different than everybody else's maze. And is that okay? Yeah! Yeah, absolutely. Because we all wanna make because our own thing. Yeah! Okay, so with the marble maze, we're really gonna be thinking about spatial thinking. Spatial thinking is when you look at this whiteboard, it's a big space, isn't it? Uh -huh. A big white space, and there's yeah. nothing on it. Yeah. So when we're making our marble maze, we have to think about this space and how our marble is going to get from one end to the other. Now, do we want to make it really easy so the marble can just go whoop and be done? No! No! We want it to be a maze where we have to use gravity to tilt the whiteboard different directions and then eventually it'll get to the other side. Yeah! Okay, before you ever engineer something, you have to draw a plan. Did you know that? You don't no. want to just go making something without having a plan either in your mind or on paper. And in this case, our plan is going to be on the whiteboard. And we're going to yes. use our dry erase marker. Okay, so our dry erase marker is nice because it has an eraser at the other end. So if you make a mistake, you can always erase it. Yeah. I'm going to show you on the camera up here what a maze is going to look like. So you're going to want to draw a line around the border. I made a mistake. That's okay. So Juliet just made a mistake right here, but that's okay because she's using her dry erase to erase it. Good job. We're drawing our border around the whole whiteboard. This is going to be our edge so that the marble doesn't fall off the edge. So somewhere you're going to want to erase just a little bit with your finger or with your eraser. A little space where your marble can come out. And you want to think about how big your marble is and if it's able to come out of that space that you just drew. So we want an ent uh, entry point and an exit point. And the exit point could be anywhere on your maze that you want. It could be on the sides or on the other end. I'm going to make mine on this end over here in this corner. Done. Done? Okay. So when you make your maze, we're going to design it with our dry erase marker and we have to figure out how your marble is going to get from point A to point B, okay? You have to remember how big your marble is because what if you had two straws this close together? Would your marble be able to get through? No! no. So as you're drawing your lines, you want to remember how big your marble is, how big your materials are, and when you're engineering, you have to remember that so that you can make sure that your marble can go where it needs to go and not get stuck. All right, so we're going to take our dry erase marker and draw in a few more lines where we want our maze to go. I'm going to stretch out my bendy straw. I love these bendy straws because they're super long and bendy. Did we forget to mention we had a bendy straw? I think we forgot to say that earlier. No. So, I think I want my bendy straw to go at the entrance. So at the entrance, my marble is going to go around. And then, here's for my puff balls. The 
See my puff balls? I think I drew them too close together. Look, I did the dots too close. So I need to erase it and put the dots a little farther apart. I'm gonna call this my puffball forest right there. <laughs> so I have to think about this. My marble is gonna come through the entry, go around, try and get through the puffball forest, and then I'm gonna have, oh, see that's too close to the edge. So I've gotta erase it a little bit, but that's okay. This is just the planning phase. We're just, it's okay to erase. Uh, so the reason we have smoothie straws is because they're nice and thick. That way our marble doesn't just hop over the edge of our maze and fall onto the floor. That would not be good. <laughs> hey, <you're laughs> okay. okay, so see how this first piece right here, we have um, a piece of our straw I just measured and cut, and then we put down the tape real easily like that and secure it into place. Then I'm gonna measure the other side cut it. The pieces of straw like to go flying through the air so sometimes you need to hold on to your straw so it doesn't fly away. The thing I love about washi tape, Julia, is you just pull it up like this with your fingernail and then all you have to do is just pull on it. That's it. And it comes right off. You just put your finger down there and tear it. For these kinds of tape, I like to use my scissors to cut it off. Oh, you like to use your scissors? Yeah. Is pulling on the tape too hard for your little fingers? Yeah. Okay, well I'm glad you have scissors. Did you know a lot of Marble Maze, Julia, is about trial and error? Is that a big word? Yeah. Trial and error means you try it, and if it doesn't work, that's called an error. That means it's a mistake. But are mistakes bad? No. No, mistakes just mean that you're learning. And you're learning how to do it the wrong way and how to do it the right way. So it's okay to make mistakes. making my border and Juliet's just getting started which is fine it I go a little faster because I am a grown-up and I've also made a marble maze before so if it takes you a little bit of time don't worry about it just pause the video and um, you know yeah yeah just take your time it's okay yeah, take your time. for the border you're gonna want your tape to be probably two inches because it's got to get over that hump and have enough space to grab onto the whiteboard. you guys the bendy straw first so wherever you had plans for your bendy straw let's do that part first because I want to show you that with this accordion part right here it's really hard for that um, straw to stick so the glue dots which are super sticky it makes it a lot easier so what you can do is just take off one of your squares Peel back the paper part, we don't need that anymore. Press your glue dot down on the line where you want to have your I bendy straw. I glue dots. And I, glue dots. I know, glue dots can be so tricky, but they're so good and sticky. Press that down on the line, maybe about an inch apart. You don't want to use up all your glue dots with the bendy straw because we want to use our glue dots for the puffball forest, of course. So we see if we press it down and then we pull it back. Like that. <laughs> That's so easy, Mommy. Try not to touch the glue dot because we don't want to make it unsticky. 
Good. I did oh, oh, you did it all by yourself. But it's kind of crumbled up. That's okay. Don't press, don't touch it. Don't touch the glue dot once it's on there because every time you touch it, it's gonna make it less and less sticky. Because do you know what? You have like oil and dirt and stuff on your fingers, even if you don't think you do. You do. And every time you touch something sticky, like tape or a glue dot, it's gonna make it less and less sticky because it's gonna have that oil and residue on it from your fingers. And you're going to stick it, oh, a little too long. I made a mistake, but that's okay, right, Juliet? Yeah. Mistakes just mean that we're learning. And look at that. Oh man, that sticks so well with those glue dots. If you have a part that's maybe not sticking very well, what can you use? Tape. Tape. Yeah, you can still use tape. Okay. Oh. Yeah. That's gonna be a good trap. Okay. And see this part right here that's kind of getting jiggly? What do you think you could put right there? Yeah! There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I have my border with my bendy straw. Now I'm ready to do my puff ball forest. Get your glue dot and you're gonna put it on your dot where the puff ball forest is gonna be. Now, just a tip, you might want to erase the dot first and then put the glue dot on because the glue dot will be able to stick to the whiteboard a lot better that way. you okay let's show everybody we have our border with our straws we have our bendy straw and our puffball forest yes we're almost done with this so we're gonna put in all those straight parts I'm gonna show Julia how to do this when you are going to put down a piece you have to measure see that's a little too big so I'm gonna cut a little piece off is that the right size? Yes. Okay, so you can do the same thing with yours. You don't need like a ruler to measure. You just need to use your eyes and see how long your piece needs to be. So with our straw pieces that we have left, we're going to finish all of the straight pieces of our base. pipe cleaner. I'm going to twist mine together and make a really pretty bridge. I'm going to, how okay. did you straighten that out? You just twist it. So you put them together and then you twist and twist and twist. You got it. Bring this over. Mm -hmm. Twist. Bring this over. Oh, you're doing such a good job. Twist. Okay, so like I said, if you want to lay this flat, you can lay it flat and do a squiggly like this, or you can do however you want. That's a really fun thing. I'm going to make a bridge out of mine, so it's actually going to be standing up. So if I want this to be my bridge, I can't just cut it right there. I have to cut it, leave a little bit of space so it can attach to the white How do you cut it? When you're cutting pipe cleaner, always use the back of your scissors. That's going to give your scissors more leverage and they're stronger and they'll be able to cut right through the wire. Okay, so there's my bridge. See it like that? It goes flat, then a bump, and then flat. And then that way, I can take my tape. So yay! So yay! Our marble is going to have so much fun going through this maze. <laughs> this looks awesome! Do you love it? Oh, I love it. Yours is Let's so fun. Let's try our so Yes, mine is so fun and yours is so fun. Julia, I just want to show everybody before we start 
Look how different ours are. We had the same supplies and yours is super different than mine. That's so great. That's because you're being so creative. But if you want to do the same thing as the other person, then you can. Yeah, you can if you want. Okay, I put my marble through the entrance. Goes around through the puffball forest. It gets stuck in there. It's a trap. It has to go through here. Oh! Through the bridge, it did it. This way, then over here. Oh, yeah. Juliet, we did it. That was a lot of work. Were we patient? Yes. Were we creative? Yes. Did we learn about spatial thinking? Remember that big word that talks about looking at this big space and thinking, how are we going to make a maze out of that big, big space? Yes, I'm going to do it. And we did engineering, which means we took all of that stuff and turned it into something really, really fun. Good job, everybody. Do you think they're going to have fun doing this? Yes! Yes, I do, too. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Good job today. High five, Juliet. Yes. It's Allison. If you like the project we did today, go to www.thewinkle.com and you can subscribe. You'll get a box every single month with four projects in it. Four projects! Every single month there'll be a different project and you can always come right here to watch the videos for instructions. <laughs> Thanks everybody! Bye! Oh, we are done! This is amazing! Oh, okay.